So let's just get rid of style.css. Oh wait, in actual fact, yeah, we could we could go ahead and use that. So style.css. Uh, um, okay, so what we want to do is we want the user to be able to click on. Um, in fact, no, we won't make it animated because that's too sort of far away from the tutorial. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just want to make the first element here um, bold. So, for example, what we could do here is we could say dot menu. Oh, sorry, no, we use a selector. I mean, and we could say inside dot menu dot first dot add class. Oh, sorry, dot find li dot first. So the first li in this list, which is user, and then we could say dot add class bold. And inside style.css, we can go ahead and add that class or create that class. And that will be font weight, oops, sorry, not null, bold. So now when we refresh, you can see that the first element is bold. Uh, and now what we could go ahead and do is say, um, let's just say dot next all dot hide. Okay, so what we've done now is I think this should work with this combination. But what we've done is we've from the menu found the first li sort of in the wrong order, if you know what I mean. So we're finding the li, uh, the first one. We're adding the class bold, which we've already seen has created it bold. And now we're using next all and hiding everything after that uh, particular class. Uh, so now you can see that all of the uh, different options are hidden. Um, in actual fact, let's go ahead and make this animated. We might as well. Uh, let's just say uh, we'll keep that there. Uh, let's just say um, dot menu, and then we'll say dot find li. In actual fact, no. We can go ahead and append this on to here. I'm going to say dot click, and then create a function inside of here. Okay, so let me just go ahead and explain for those of you that you know sort of struggling with this, which I can understand. Um, we're selecting the first menu and we're finding the li, and we've seen that we've made that bold by adding the class bold uh, that we created inside style.css. We're then appending on a, a click event handler, which is going to do something when we click it. For example, at the moment, alert you clicked me, uh, and then everything else after that we're going to hide. So uh, let's go ahead and click that. It says you clicked me. So now once we've clicked it, I want to go ahead and I want to say this dot um, find li dot, oh, we could say first and then dot next all dot show. Don't remember or don't forget the uh, brackets. Let's see if that works when we click it. No, it's not. So uh, click function this dot find. Oh no, we'll say this dot next all. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So um, let me just go let me just change this here to toggle. Um, and that should now allow us to yet yeah, hide and show this menu. Okay, so let me just run through it and, and I'll sort of explain why I've done this. If, for example, you wanted your users, uh, for example, on a website that you or a template that you've created, you might have wanted them to actually go ahead and allow them to create their own simple menus. Now, in the case that your user or the person that's viewing your page can see UL class equals menu, they automatically know that this is a menu. Now, they might see that the first one, I mean, it's sl slightly tricky to see, but the first one says user. So by viewing the page, you can automatically assume now that this uh, is the menu title. And then anything after it, so you know, when we go ahead and add some more elements on, or some more li elements on, so for example, something else, uh, now we know that when we click, we just you know gain these menu items on. And we can click this and uh, click it again to get rid of it. Uh, I guess we could e e even go ahead and just add on an href that goes to nothing, just to make it look a bit more uh, like a menu item. And it will essentially what we're doing now is we're finding uh, li which we've talked about, the first one, and we're adding class to bold. And we're, but we're also then appending on an event handler for the click uh, event. 
So once this is clicked, everything else after this, i.e. the first menu item, this being this here, will be shown or it will be toggled. Uh, the reason I use toggle is because uh, if I was to use show, I would have had to then go ahead and create something else to you know hide it. Toggle just does it for you. And then next all dot hide. Now this is the initial stage of when we come into the page. So if we were to get rid of this, uh, we would get the same effect, but the settings would just be shown initially. Uh, so obviously these two on the end just uh, depend. Uh, you could even change that to show, uh, but really it's a waste of code uh, having it in if you you know want them to be hidden or shown so you know that's something I, I've sort of gone over over a bit on this but that's something that you could bear in mind with this first and next all and this first all as well so you can go back and say first all but you know the next next all um, first first all uh, find are all sort of useful things that can be tied in together and you can see we've created a nice little menu here and this could even be something you know that's been really nicely styled and it could be you know a nice menu at the top uh, you could either ch either change the sorry even change this to something like hover and then when we hover over it uh, we get the menu uh, items come out again uh, so you're thinking sort of drop down menus at the top of a page so you know using these in combination are really you know effective and we've done this with you know three lines of code which you know is pretty uh, impressive actually so just by creating this li we've demonstrated how we can use next next all first and first all uh, we've also used toggle in here and we've also used find to help us find the element that we want to apply this to so a nice example pretty straightforward and a lot here that could be put into practice